Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another Lego set review. Today we have the Lego Arcade Pac-Man machine, which Come on, this thing looks cool. So this is a set that kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't even hear a rumor about this, but Lego has been making these kind of classic arcades slash consoles. Over the last couple of years, it really started with the Nintendo NES. That was a huge success. Last year, we had the Atari 2600, and now, here in 2023, we have the Lego Pac-Man machine. But there's a crank on the side, and so that means there's some type of mechanical function to the machine, so I can't wait to see that. That's very similar to how Mario moved on the NES. TV, so this is gonna be cool. Now this is also an 18 plus set. The set number is 10323. It has 2,657 pieces and it's gonna be released on June 1st of 2023 with a retail price of 270 US dollars. I'll have a link down below to lego.com. It's affiliated, helps out the channel if you decide to purchase the set. I also wanna thank Lego for sending this set over for review. If we take a look here on the side of the box art, you can see the original Pac-Man game, which is really fun. You can also see there's a little bit more to this set than meets the eye on the back of the box as well. I am so excited to build this, so I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting much longer. Let's go ahead and go into the in-depth of the Lego Pac-Man machine. All right, so first off, I am no arcade expert, so I might get a little terminology wrong here with Pac-Man, so bear with me. First off, there's a build on the top side of the machine that can be taken off as a separate build that shows Pac-Man with Blinky and Clyde and showing its frightened mode with this really awesome mechanism. All you have to do is push this pin inwards and outwards, and it has a very nice resistance and pulls back once you let go. Very cool. You'll also notice all four ghosts right here in little tiny form printed on one by one tiles. Unfortunately, my Pac-Man here on this little build was missing a piece and I actually got this Technic piece which was never to be seen in any other part of the build. So very strange mistake from Lego. Now moving on to the actual arcade machine. On the side of it, you'll see a big eight by 16 tile integrated in with the bricks that has a big sticker on it. Now there is a lot of printed elements like this three piece print right here on the upper half. This is all printed right here that says Pac-Man. Next on the bottom side, we have a fully moving joystick. No, it doesn't control the game, but it does have a really satisfying click to it that you'll just have to build the set and find out yourself of exactly what I'm talking about. Then we have two white buttons, one of which doesn't work and the other actually turns on a Lego light brick that reveals a 25 cents insert coin to play, which is very accurate. On the other side of the machine, we also have some more Pac-Man art that is right next to, that's right, a crankshaft. And so here's the full reveal that when you turn the crankshaft, yes, Pac-Man actually moves as well as all four ghosts and the cherry, which is just so cool. Unfortunately, Pac-Man really isn't collecting any pellets. Obviously, there's some limitations about what can be done here with Lego, but regardless, this is really cool how Lego is able to achieve this. And if we take a closer look, Clyde the Ghost and the Cherry are both moving at different speeds, which is, again, just really impressive. There's also a massive amount of printed tiles here. These are blue tiles with black printing on them. Unfortunately, I did have a misprint here on a corner tile, but not a big deal. I'll just call Lego customer service and get that all fixed up. The cherry tile also appears on the bottom side alongside two other Pac-Man, as you can see here. And then as we make our way upwards to the top side of the machine, there's also some scoring that can be changed by a little geared mechanism as well. In the middle, you'll notice it says high score and it's 164,440. And then you can change the score on the left side where it says one up. You can flip this to different varying scores. There's four different variations. Unfortunately, I would say this is quite a con. There is a big open gap gap here between the high score area and the Pac-Man logo. I wish this was covered up with some tiles. Now it doesn't stop there. On the back side of the arcade machine, you can actually take off this whole panel revealing the inside. So if you want to see how it works, this is a really cool thing to show your friends. At least in my opinion, you can see how the scoring mechanism works as well as how the gearing mechanism for the actual machine and how it moves all the ghosts and Pac-Man around. It's very cool. It's all put together using chains and gears. Very awesome design. But if we keep going down further into the machine, you'll see there is a really cool Easter egg of a miniature arcade with a miniature Pac-Man machine of the same Lego set. I absolutely love this. This is minifigure scale, so if you have like a Lego city, you can integrate this somewhere in your city, which I think would be really fun and cool. The actual miniature minifigure scale Pac-Man machine is really well detailed. These are all stickers, unfortunately. No printed pieces for the Pac-Man machine that's miniature. 
And then we also have a really cool minifigure that's exclusive to this set, as well as a little five cents for the machine, which I also really like. I love the design on the carpet, by the way, that's a nice little touch. It is also nice that the whole backside of this machine is sealed off with the panel. I really like that in case of like dust in the long term of things. But overall, the geared mechanism of how this whole thing works is truly impressive on top of everything else that you get with this. I am very, very surprised about how good the Pac-Man machine is. You know, I didn't even realize that the LEGO NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System that came out a few years back, that it's also still available, believe it or not, that also is $270 and also has the almost exact same piece count as the Pac-Man machine here at 2,700 pieces. So I think that's pretty funny and you can clearly see that LEGO is trying to recreate the excitement and fun that the NES had. You can't tell me that this functionality of Pac-Man actually working isn't amazing. This is beautifully executed. It works flawlessly. Even in the instruction manual, it says, you know, that they use a Lego robotic system to test this thousands of times to make sure it worked well. And it shows, it, it seamlessly works. I think if you're a hardcore arcade fan, this will absolutely please you. If you're a hardcore Lego fan, you're gonna love the build aspect. You're gonna love the fact that you're getting a ton of printed pieces. The build itself is very unique and interesting. I felt like I learned a lot, especially in terms of the gear mechanism of how this works. Like that was super interesting. And speaking of that, I really like the fact that you can pull this panel off here. Yes, there's like a nice little, you know, hidden Easter egg down on the bottom, but I also like that you can see the functionality and the gears work you can't really see that as much in the NES and I like seeing how things work I like showing my friends how things work um, that's you know a personal preference but I think that is really cool and you know if you don't like that then you can just seal this up and never take the back off so it's best of both worlds the build up here on the top is so satisfying to play around with I feel like Lego got the resistance on this pen right here just right it's it's a lot of fun to play with this, I don't know. It's it's a great little side build and adds on to the set so you don't have to lose it or anything like that. I love that you also have the little miniature uh, dots on the top as well to match the inside of the arcade game. The joystick is so, so satisfying. God, they just nailed so many things right with this set. So given that this is a Pac-Man machine, I think this is totally gonna sell well. Pac-Man's one of the most, if not the most popular arcade game in the world. It is so iconic in pop culture. People are absolutely gonna love this set just as much as probably the Nintendo NES. Like, they just nailed it. They really did, I'm surprised. Everything here works well. It's a nice set. It doesn't take up too much room on your table. You know, maybe the yellow's not to your taste, so maybe you don't want this on your desk, but I don't know. I, I think it's a nice build for the most part, except for maybe the backside. I mean, this is something you could easily store on a bookshelf and it looks cool and it has the fun party trick of, oh, hey, look, it actually works. This set also blows that Atari 2600 that came out last year. That was an okay set. This is so much cooler in my opinion. This is up there with the NES. So if you like that set, you're gonna love this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks again to Lego for sending this set over for review. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.